Uh, welcome guys. Uh, I've not casted some tutorials for quite a while, so I think it's quite the time to do it. So last time, if I remember correctly, we talked about activating skirmish maps into the game. And we did it using Shia Lud, which is... Uh, I don't know if it works all the time. I'm not going to repeat it. But I mentioned there what kind of problems you can have while using Shia Lu to activate your maps. Probably working better on Windows 9X type of operating systems. So today we are doing it using the Dune 2K Plus toolkit. Uh, so open the launcher and uh, you are going to have to go to the string table editor. And right now you, you are having, I, I mean I am having version 0 0.1 but I just uh, heard that a new version was released just like one or two days ago and I haven't tried that yet because I didn't have time so maybe we're doing it together guys so anyway for this tutorial we don't need those up updates so what you have to do is open text.uib which is uh, the file that stores any kind of text stuff from the game. You understand more when you see the file. So this, uh, these are the entries in this file. As, as you can see it has most of the text you know. It has the requirements. Um, these are the map names. Uh, yeah. Please note that these are maps um, from 1.02, the version of the game I mean. So uh, if you want to add the maps and you are having 1.06 then you are gonna have to scroll down and find the those entries. And I'm doing it right now it should be somewhere right here. Keep going uh, the new version I heard that it has search or find feature that's very useful these are some uh, things as you can see they probably had the version from render alert of toggling shroud also uh, stealth mode very nice things probably this game was never finished or maybe they just decided not to include these features in the game so Let's just keep going. This is the multi, uh, the mission select mode created by MVI. These are the entries in the text.uib file, and these are the name, the unit names. And for example, if I change Deviator to Feda Socks, this means that instead of Deviator, you will see the name of you will see these. So. That's pretty awesome if you want a unit with your name just to make sure you are cool. So uh, we're, right now we are searching for that thing. Maybe I should pause this until... Oh yeah, I find them. So these are the 1.06 maps. Uh, so now you kind of have uh, uh, two possibilities. Either edit one of them, which is not the best idea because you know you actually lose that map you can't play it anymore so you have very very useful uh, thing v right here add after or before doesn't really matter I think so let's just say we want to add after so it's gonna be the last map in the list hit uh, add after and now you just have a new empty field here new uh, new entry now this is very important so you have to pay attention you need to know your uh, map name and the map name comes from here 6 play 5 is the way uh, Westwood uh, named their maps so or Westwood or Intelligent Games I don't know who made the maps because uh, the game was developed by Intelligent Games if I remember correctly so let's just say because I don't have a map right now let's just go ahead and uh, say that we want to activate we want to activate this whatever it is I have no idea I think it's Habania Eric 2 so you're gonna have to type this exactly the same 
map underscore and the map name zero zero play zero and no extension so don't add dot map because that's not you don't have to do that and right here you just have to uh, type the name of the map so for example test map you don't need to add any kind of our information if you don't want to so right now you have your new map introduced in the list without any kind of additional uh, strings here that Shialud adds or without any problems relating to the operating system that Shialud may create so that this is a uh, probably not so user friendly as Shialud is but it's definitely better to use uh, the string table editor so that's gonna be it for now I said I'm gonna download the new version maybe I will but uh, I will do it when I will explain how to rename other things in the game so for now that's gonna be it see ya guys and hope you now can activate any kind of maps without Shia Loot